Oh god, it is on fire! Oh, hold up, hold up, let's see. Go over here now. Oh my god, I killed them! I burned the villagers that were after me with the Tome of Fire! Oh my god, that's awesome! Welcome back, everybody, to Spooky October Month! I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon, and this right here is our Curious Expedition run with our boy, HP Lovecraft has been going pretty good so far. I have a lot of fun with it. I like the random factor to it as well. If you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. For today, however, expedition number four, I think we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be going over to the monstrous desert. We haven't really checked out the desert maps too often, so let's give it a go this time around. Let's start this expedition up. Uh, we handed over Snarf Rattle's pelt. The hunter nodded quietly, and I saw a giant sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. Obtain a reward? 150 funds, alrighty, pretty good. A gentleman appeared on the docks as I waited. He challenged me to complete the, my forthcoming expedition within 80 days and offered a reward upon completion. Now this is something I can do, because um, whenever we're about to wrap up our, say, 80 days coming up, I could always use like a targeted teleportation to the exit and book it, but... At the same time, I don't like to be rushed. This is one of the few things I don't like in games, just being rushed. Time limits and stuff like that. I don't like it one bit. So I'm going to refuse this one, however, because I don't want to be rushed. I want to be able to look around, grab treasures, jump back wherever I want to, and, you know, so on and so forth. Reveals nearby oasis. I mean, we have a campsite, though. Then again, the oasis is pretty good to refill our water supply for the desert. Hmm. He's got, like, um... Dice with the little yellow border, which means they're actually stronger than normal. You could use these for like some crazy concoctions down the line. You know what? Let's go ahead and pick them up. Why not? We have 343. Let's see. I could get another capacity for Ainsword for 100. You know what? Why not? We have the money for it. Do that. Go to purchase equipment. Booze. Let's booze it on up here to the east side. All right. We're completely broke now, but I think that's fine. I think that's all right. Right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> let's deal it up. And let's go ahead and set sail. Alright, expedition number four. So I got two more to go after this one. Is this the first one where you have to start looking for the portals? I think here you gotta find like one portal, right? Then two, and then finally three. I think that's how it plays out. Alright, so right off the bat we have a giant birdie, but first let's go ahead and dump off Necronomicon, Metal Cube. You know what, let's leave the campsite. Leave the campsite for now as well. We got like a lot of booze anyway, so it's not a big deal. Expedition. Alright, now we're good to go. See, here's the thing, for um, traveling in the desert, you need water, otherwise the sanity cost is really, really high. Um, Alright, so we have an oasis, or not an oasis, but something over here. Let's go over here and check that out. Oh, we have an oasis right there, actually. So we can rest over here and also refill our water, if things get a little bit too dicey. And over here we have ourselves a village. Hey, we have a nomadic tribe. Let's continue. And I was able to communicate. So let's see if they are down for some trading over here. And what do they have for trading? They got some of the old mangoes, strawberries, meat would be very nice. Oh, that's right. We should probably go kill some things. So we get some meat for our abomination. Hmm. That's an interesting conundrum there. I realized that I, f I forgot that we have to kill stuff for the meat. Well... You really have nothing of value here other than the jewels. I don't really care about that. So I'm going to say no deal for now or just cancel, whatever. And can you guys let me rest in the village? You will. Hey, good on you guys. Okay. Free rest. More of the map over here. We have another jump off point over here. Let's go and check this area out first. Get as much as the map uncovered. Oh, by the way, we could also use one of our... Oh, we got this portal. Now, I'm going to activate you. And there is our exit already. So. Right off the bat, we could get out of here as soon as possible, so there is that. If things get a bit scary, we leave. Not a big deal. Uh, let's come down and check out what this is here, however. Over here, we have another shrine, a cave, and probably another cave over here too, right? Yeah. And over here, we have a giant bird. I don't recall how tough the giant bird fights are. And with only one abomination, do I want to risk it? I don't know. Well, either way, let's use our pumpkin lantern and explore this cave. Explore the tunnel. We spent three days here for what? For us to pop out? Oh, nearer to the exit. Okay. And the giant bird is right here. Do we risk the giant bird now? I think we do. What's over here? Let's examine. Oh, the giant bird's aggro on me. A few items over here. Um, the people here, I don't really care about trading with them, so I will say we take the jewels and take this. And the reason why I'm taking the berries, even though we can't carry them... Oh, come on, Hakim! The reason why we're doing that is because what I could do here now is just eat the berries, get some sanity back, and we're under control now. Now let's go ahead and attack this giant Birdramon. Actually, wait, before we attack giant Birdramon, let me level you up here. 
So you get some more experience. And you have an attack die now. Perfect. Okay. Attack Giant Bergramon. Oh yeah, I have fought you guys before. Okay. 18 HP. A lot of attack die. Um, let's toss a couple of bullets in here just in case. Dynamite now? Nah, I'm gonna say we hold off on that. Maybe another bullet though. There you go. So what do we have? We have the all-seeing eye. This and this. That would be four shield for outstanding tactics, huh? That's the only one there. A precise attack? Not too crazy about that. What can I combine you with? A repost. Oh. Cutting repost. Yeah, let's do that one. Get a little bit of shield just in case. And then we'll do... More shields? No, I'm gonna say we just roll again for now. We'll hold on to those, though. Here is my gun. So now with the gun, can I do... Stopping shot. Two damage and one shield. Meh. Meh. I say we just take a quick shot. We'll hoof this guy as well. We have a giant claw attack here. He's down to five, which is very good. We could probably get the kill soon. That's gonna be three. Two more, huh? Can we get two more? Yes, we can! Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, guys! And here is some meat for our abomination. We have some bird feathers as well. Close up. Um, so meat's fine because we need that to make sure that abomination doesn't turn on me. But we're also two items overweight, which is a problem. Okay, here's what we do for now. Water, I'm gonna have you go away. We still have 20 over here, and bird feathers or bullets. Um, boom, 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 boom. Or the jewels. Jewels is 30 funds at the end of the expedition. We haven't found any gold stuff, by the way. We gotta go start looking for that, too. Man. I'm gonna say the feathers go away for now. Okay. Now, let's see here. Uh, Oasis down here. We could run over here and get some rest soon. Let's go check this out here first, though. We have a dinosaur man over there, too. Slaver camp. Mm, could fight him. We could fight him, but then again, I have a full party as it is, so I don't really care about rescuing people. I know, I know, it's very heartless, Falcon. What can I say, though? It's the truth. Let's, so, let's go into maybe trading. They have a whip. Makes a terrifying weapon in combat that can be used to stun enemies. How about that? 60 value. Never had a whip before. A lot of booze. We have a lot of booze ourselves. And there's really nothing in here that I really want. Other than maybe just a booze. Can I do that? Oh, that's a really high trade value for that, huh? Yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Mm. I was curious about this whip. But whatever. Uh, let's just do the jewels for the whiskey. Why not? Okay. Negative three standing because I'm doing trades with the the slavers. People are like, how can you do that, Falcon? Or how can you do that, HP Lovecraft? Well, to be honest with you, apparently, as we found out last time, HP Lovecraft is a really terrible dude in this game. He um, converted Sister Prudentia to racism, so, you know, how can I do it? Well, he's a, he's a bona fide racist in this um, journey of ours, it does seem. Uh, the Abomination wants to eat the raw meat. I say we let it eat. Otherwise, it'll eat us. And we found ourselves, what is this, a uh, hanging overpass? We could rest overnight here. Let's do that. Lieutenant Winifrey Terman stepped out of the darkness. No, you can't join me. Get out of here, dude. I'm not even sure who the hell you are anymore. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Hey, can I join you guys again? It's like, who the hell are you supposed to be? Um, 82 of 110. Let's leave now. Hakim? What did you Hakim do? I suspected something about Hakim. Oh, no. Oh, he set fire on stuff. Hakim, come on, dude. He can't be doing that. Let me promote Hakim while we're at it as well. Use up those extra points, and let's see. We're still early in the expedition. Mmm, I say we rush over here. and don't, don't go through the fire, though. Can we not go through the fire? Can we not go through the fire? Go through here, and then over here. Or should we get some more water first? You know what? Maybe some more water would benefit us. Plus, I haven't gotten this as a, a registered area just yet. I don't think, anyway. So this will fill us back up. Let it eat the meat. We're down to only one. Okay, now we're getting into dangerous area with the abomination. Refill the water. Good. And refill again. Might as well do it again. Rest overnight. Okay. Almost good? There we go. Okay. Got water. Everything's good. Oh, we need to get rid of you, water. And let's go check 
this out here. We haven't checked out that cave. There's also a shrine right there. Speaking of which, we need that shrine because we haven't found any really gold stuff for the end of our expedition here. Explore. Old campsite. Search the area. Berries and some food cans. This they won't eat unless we're like very low on sanity, so I might as well just, just leave it behind. I'll take the berries though, I'll eat those now. There we go. And let's come over and what's over here? A gorilla. We might have to fight some gorillas for some meat, guys. I think we might have to do that. Some more stuff to explore over here too. Alright, examine shrine. Let's go ahead and use one of our rope. Enter the shrine. I'm not sure what the trap here might be, but we have some stuff that we do need. Um, unfortunately, I have to get rid of that. Take this. I think it's about time to get rid of the bullets, though. Oh, man. We have to fight gorillas, though, more than likely. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? I, I think, um, let's see. I think we might have to jump back to the ship and drop some stuff off. What's, uh, how many homebounds do I have? Four more homebounds? Yeah, we might do that. And then we might just randomly teleport afterwards. So here's what we do. Take everything for now. The gorilla is way too far for me to find him. I was hoping we could find him now. Um, so we're overburdened. That's okay. Here's what we do. Let's use the... Actually, no, 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 no. Don't use the homebound just yet. Use the effortless movement because we have nine of them. So I can move over here without even worrying about the overburden thing. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit. Oh, good God, I love these tomes. There we go. Oh, um, yeah, go ahead and eat the last bit of meat, I guess. Oof, we need to get some meat here really, really soon. Return to the ship, let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. So you go in there, you go in there. Let me hold on to this in case we need it for the temple for some reason. Um, well, no, no, you. Just last slot. I don't think we'll be using dynamite, so let me get one more empty spot here. How about the whiskey? I don't know. Let me just um, rest overnight here. Do we need the whiskey right now for us? Maybe take like a couple of them, but I don't think we need all of these. So how about we do it as chip storage? Put like a few away. I'll have a couple just in case we need them for after a fight or something. And then it'll give us an empty spot after we're done drinking them. So, and we might as well just rest overnight too. Make sure we're completely filled up. Okay, this is good. Very good. Okay. And let's see, you are 50 say, 57 days away from arriving, so we still have a lot of time to check stuff out. Uh, we need some meat. And we have dinosaurs here as well. Raptors or gorillas? What do you guys think? Uh, I guess we probably should go after the raptors since they're a bit closer. Let me do, um, let's see, random teleportation. Where's that at? Let me do a random teleportation. Put us right next to the gorilla. How perfect and convenient that is. Okay, so, uh, Gorilla Man, would you mind hanging out here and fighting me? Yes, you would. <laughs> Actually, you don't mind. You want to fight. Uh, let's do a couple of bullets here, and that'll be it. Alright. Let's see. Got a shot. A stopping shot, huh? A bullet wall. Three damage and two shield. Do we do it? And yeah, why not? All right, tentacle. I want to roll for the strong attack if we can. That's terrible. Um, this isn't really much. Let me hold on to... Actually, I would prefer the eyeball, so let's just roll again. No eyeball again, huh? Oof, these are actually really bad rolls now. I'm getting quite worried. Okay, here we go. Let's hoof you. We have a bleeding attack. Mm, not just yet. Oh, dude. We have to do the whip again. Oh, wait, wait, we can combine the whip. Piercing Tentacle. Ah. That'll only be four damage, though. But you know what? We might need to do four damage to kill at least one of them. So let's do that. You're down to nine. Um, that would be Bleeding. I think Bleeding would be two damage if I'm right, so hold up. We have a Headbutt. We could stun this guy for at least one of his die. That's a possibility. Look out. No, I don't need that. Precise Attack for three. Six of eight. This would be bleeding two. We need to do two more damage, at least on this guy. Otherwise, we're in trouble. I don't think we could do two more damage. Man. So what do we do? We stun this guy to get at least one of those out of the way. 
Because this would be, yeah, that would be only be three damage even with the bleeding. Actually, wait, but we have one attack, right? We could use that for as an attack. Yes, we can. So here's what we do: we'll attack you, and then headbutt and stun him. He'll die from the bleeding anyway, and that's cool. So now we end our round. Cool. One attack. That's okay. That's fine. Our Boro's gonna be stunned, unfortunately. Use that extra bullet. Let's roll. Aha! Fierce Claw. And we could do... Bullet Wall. Punctuation. Strong Bleeding as well. He'll be bleeding three. All we need is like two more points of damage, which we won't be able to, unfortunately, get to. So he's gonna attack us one more time. I think. Oh no, here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! He dead. He dead from bleeding alone. And round. And here's the meat that we were looking for. We got some monkey paws too, a gorilla paws. 20 funds? Yeah, we'll take those instead. Pulls it up. Alrighty, cool. Now we have some meat for abomination. Man, I really miss having two abominations. The fights were a lot easier with two of them as opposed to just one. What's up here? Raptor. Okay, another raptor. Let's check this out here. Have ourselves... Uh... Another native village. Our standing is at negative 10, though. These people are going to probably spot us run after us right now. So we should probably not even enter there, <laughs> because our standing is really, really bad here at the moment. Examine here, examine loot. Aha! I'll take that. Let me take the voodoo doll. If I'm right, the voodoo doll is to, like, curse your... Let's see if that what that does. Hold up. This is supposed to, like, um, bring bad luck to your rival. So at the moment, first place is how many days away? 44. What happens if I use this now? You see how everybody's shaking now? Days for I have 44. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does. They're all shaking after using the voodoo doll, though, so I'm not sure what that actually means. Let's have the berries here. And... Oh, here's the village that I told you about. Okay, hold up. There's our exit. We'll probably wind up using a teleportation and get up there. Uh, I think we come and check this out. We have the native villagers after us, and we have another giant birdie here. Mm, let me use uh, extended vision. Where is that at? Because... We have five. I want to see what's up here. Oh, wow, there's more natives up there, too. There's a lot to check out up here, actually. Let me do a random teleportation. Hope for the best. It brought me... Hey, actually up here, really good. Next to this area. Cool. <laughs> that actually worked out quite well. Aha, another shrine. More goodies. Yeah, you go ahead and eat that meat, dude. It's fine. That's the reason why we have it. Examine shrine. Enter shrine. Investigate altar. Oh, very nice. Two more of these bad boys. Another one of those moonstones. Water is going to start erupting, but that's okay. We could always teleport away. Now, we're one item overburdened. I should be able to combine you guys right up to 20. Why the hell aren't you guys combining? That's a problem. That's a really big problem. Ah, oh, well. Get rid of the 10 water for now. Now. Um, villagers don't really scare me. I would like to get over here, but Raptor and then villagers back to back could be problematic. I could use, like, another one of those movement things and just be fine. Let me do another teleportation. It brought me right next to the villagers that are chasing me, which isn't really bad, because what I could do is just fight them, and then we come up here and check that out. Assuming this guy doesn't accost me, too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let me do something tricky here. I do have one of these fire tomes. I wonder if I could burn these dudes. I'm curious. Where the hell is that at? Where's the fire one? Tome page of fire. Oh, God. It is on fire. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's see. Go over here now. Oh, my God. I killed them. I burned the villagers that were after me with the tome of fire. Oh. Oh my god, that's awesome! Alright, that worked out quite swell. Oh, a portal. Oh, it's gonna be the other universe portal thing, huh? Alright, one second. Before we do that, check this out, guys. Days to arrive 44. After I curse them, they don't move. So it's you curse them, then they basically stop moving for a while. And then I guess once they stop shaking that way, that means they're back on, on the road again. Good. Very good to know. Um, I don't want to go to another portal right now. I'd rather just check this out and then just kind of book. And we found, ooh, found that lost ship again. Search the area. <laughs> I love how you always find dynamite here. Uh, the only problem is that we're overburdened. So here's what I think we have to do. 
We have checked out just about everything in this map, minus this area. I think it's about time we go. Because we're overburdened anyway. So here is what I propose we do. We have another one of these people chasing me down over here, by the way. <laughs> How dare you burn my people down. Uh, let me do a random teleportation first. Which brought me close to that guy, which is not what I really wanted to do. Um, we're about to start losing our shit, too. Maybe we do a targeted teleportation to the exit then. You know what? Let's do that. Explore. Let's get out of here. Enter the pyramid. Farewell. I was going to risk it and just walk over there, maybe using the other tomes, but um, I'm carrying stuff. I don't really want to drop some stuff. Our sanity is kind of low, so first place as usual. No problem there. What do we have? Desert Explorer. Well, I could have used that before we got to the desert. Careerist. Promoting characters improves their loyalty towards you. Eagle Eye increased viewing distance. I think we go with Eagle Eye. I mean, we could use another. We could run into another desert area down the line. And we also have those tomes for vision. You know what? I think we will get des get this bit stronger because we have the tomes for extended vision anyway. All right, that's good. We're still in first place. No worries about that. And let's see here. We'll sell the monkey hands or the gorilla hands, and then we will gift, gift, mm, gift. And we'll sell this one. Not exactly rolling in cash this time around, but we have a lot of items already. We're well in first place. Let's continue going forward. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode of Spooky October Curious Expedition. I will catch you next time.